All right, everyone, welcome back. Thank you for joining. I'm going to pick up here where we left off in the fall chapter of The Last of Us. In the last video, we made it through Tommy's Dam, shot a bunch of hunters, and had a really cool cutscene between Joel and Ellie, uh, where it appeared that Joel was going to go and, and hand her off to Tommy to finish the job to get her to the Firefly Lab. But Joel just had a change of heart, I think, when he saw how much fight was in Ellie, and he realized that. He was the only person to do the job. So we're going to pick up here. Go Bighorns. And where the scene opens up here, I think we missed the good old football discussion. It's all good. Let's go. Cool part here. I do think that we have a... I want to say we have vitamins up on this right side. Yes, we do. Stay, Callus. What kind of name is Callus anyways? Not my fault you forgot to ask Tommy his name. Callus. not a bad name. It's a solid, like, six and a half name. I mean, it is, I guess, okay. related to, like, a horse, Maybe right? I don't know. Like well, we'll head to Central Grounds. Should be able to see most of the campus from there. I think Joe even, doesn't he say that to Ellie at the, in part two? You gotta build your calluses up. Come on. scavenging here. Let's see what we're left with. Oh hell yeah. One of the funnest weapons in the game. Makes you feel almost invincible at times, really. All right, we got more parts laying around here. Nothing big, I don't think, but just random handful of parts here and there. Let's grab them first, and we'll make our way back to that workbench. There was a lookout here. That's a good sign. That's just a logbook there for the fireflies. Wait for Ellie to come through. We don't need to read that. Okay. Molly for sure. We do have a full... This is a tough one, actually. Let's think on it. We don't have to make our minds up right now. That is a tough one, though. Just due to what's ahead. It's hard sometimes to just pick a shiv over a, a nail bomb. Not exactly the sexiest pick, but sometimes a smarter one. We'll wait till we get a little bit closer to having to make that decision. Here we go. Let's see what we got here. Not much. Not much at all. 
Reload speed. I mean, uh, again, when you get a new weapon, you like to try to get it up to speed, but I don't know. Range and power, that, that would make me think a little bit, but I think I'm going to pass on that. Let's see. That's what we can do. Capacity. That gun's maxed out now. That's it. That's all we got. That took everything we had. So. Now we're talking. I guess, Joel. That made all the difference right there. Let's up that clip capacity for uh, the, all three rounds that we have in the gun. Good shit. Yeah, that wouldn't have made a difference. All right. Go. Screw. So, Get these on. places. People would live here and just study, even though they were all grown up. Mm, study, party, and find themselves. Figure out what they wanted to do with their lives. What they wanted to do with their lives. <laughs> That's a giant ram. You guys were like some idol worshippers. <laughs> when it came to sports? Hell yeah. Pretty cool part here, and just like we had back in the now earning Bill's Town chapter and the Suburban Sniper chapter, back in the uh, the Summer Act, I brought up. There's four parts in this game that again put you in this safe little bubble. It's getting chilly. Even if it's that time of year. Even if temporary, it puts you in a safe little bubble where you get to take in the scenery and get to learn a little bit more about your companion, learn a little bit more about Joel, as we find out here. Uh, and the parts going ahead. This is the third part for me. First one was just entering Bill's Town with Joe and Ellie. The second part was the suburbs. Just after you get out of the sewer, you learn you get to learn a little bit about Henry, which was pretty cool. Um, and uh, this is the third one for me here. This part of the uh, the university, uh, you really just get to take your time, kind of walk through here. You start to see Joel open up a little bit more. As we'll see ahead, I think that that big cut scene at the uh, the ranch house outside of Jackson I think that unlocks something in him right I mean that's and that's no surprise to say that because you know Joel was fully committed and prepared at that point to hand hand Ellie off to Tommy to go finish the job and get her to the fireflies right something had to change his mind and I you know I think it's that that fear of hey she left and oh my god there's these dudes that are trying to kill us and did they get her and she has that heart-to-heart -heart with him, and I think ultimately after that, Joel probably felt bad about, you know, his words His words cut pretty deep with the, I'm sure as hell not your dad, uh, you're not my daughter, and by the time they get back to Jackson, you see Joel's tone change, right? And at that point, he, he's committed, and he's going to take Ellie the rest of the way and part ways with Tommy. Um... That unlocked something, no doubt about it. There's still a couple more like levels to unlock in Joel in, in, in regards to his relationship with Ellie that we'll see before the end of the game. But that, that was definitely like another notch up, another tier up, another, another level unlocked in, in Joel and Ellie's relationship. And you're starting to see it here in this little cool part in, in, uh, at the university as they, as they ride around and get to learn a little bit about uh, the man, the myth, the legend, the man behind the flannel... Behind the scowl and the beard, um, the man that wields the bat, that would be Joel Miller. We get to learn a little bit more about him here in this part. And again, it's one of my one of my favorite parts out of the uh, those four that I spoke about before that uh, kind of just take your, your mind off the killing and shooting and racing to the next checkpoint and kind of get to know these two. Also, happy fall to everyone out there. Fall in the game here, fall in real life. Hey, over there. Is that it? <laughs> it does look like a giant mirror. No better time of year. So, happy fall, happy flannel season on behalf of Joel Miller. How many people do you think are there? Fireflies, I mean. Well, I reckon it takes quite a crew to run that operation. You think there'll be other people my age? 
Uh, I'm not sure. I'll be right back. I'll be here. Stay with the horse. I'll go check it out. Yes, I don't want him running off. I'll be right back. No, we're pretty screwed if he runs off, actually. Huh. Looks like someone jerry rigged this thing. No juice. I think I was feeling myself a little bit too much there. Yeah, that sucks. Oh. I should just stick to melees and that's that. instead of trying to shoot because clearly I can't do that. And you guys certainly didn't tune into this video to check out my shooting prowess, as we all know by now. Tried to go legless mode again there right around the corner as I did back in uh, Lincoln High School. This time I was able to retrieve the arrow. It's not bad. Take that. Legless mode something I have not leveled up to yet. That is for damn sure. I figured there was something up here. Let's see where we're at real quick with that. And we'll want to go shipmaster weapons way. We're almost there for one of them. anything in here typically there's not from what I remember but still worth a look I guess I don't have a throwable can we pick up a throwable no damn building of brick can't find a brick That a fact. Yeah. Can you imagine being up there all by yourself? Would have been cool. I'm just saying. I guess I gotta get down to press that. What about you? What'd you want to be? Um, well, when I was a kid, I used to want to be uh, a singer. <laughs> Shut up. No, serious. Sing something. Uh, no. Come on, I won't laugh. I don't think so. Joel, please. Come on. No, the 
Joel Miller in the summertime definitely would not have offered up that kind of intel. Of them. That one just jumped twenty feet. <laughs> Going yeah yeah. All right, that that was not the effect that I was looking for. I was looking for Joel to kind of charge them. Uh, yeah, an old wasted football field. Pretty cool and sad at the same time. Awesome backdrop, though. Those the kids players had to love that. Hell of a backdrop. Always look at these people's faces on here and wonder where they got them from or if they're I don't know people that are involved in making a game or something med kit improve okay med kit all right more parts it would have been cool if the workbench would have been like towards this end of town they have to know when they make this just like where the parts are at and when you're gonna get the most use out of a workbench now this would have been better than as soon as we rolled into the college all right scooch This is good. First sign of fireflies. All right, let's try that gate. There it is. Beggars. Looks like they rigged this up as well. This won't budge. Uh, so close. Yep, I'm going in. Watch yourself. You too. I think of that hundred mark. No, no, we're good. Um, shiv master. When using a shiv to break free of a clicker grapple, only one shiv durability is used. Okay. Or weapon sway. Let's do weapon sway. I'm I'm a I'm not a great shot. I kind of need it. So. That's just a book. 
Diary. Kid's diary. Wonder how long you held out. Spores. Mm -hmm. All right, now it's uh, decision time for me. Um, let's see, this kind of sucks. Like, I feel like I, in, I feel like I have to do the shiv. As much as I want to make the offensive weapon, that's just the way I like to roll. I think I'm gonna need this. So. other ones walking by but and I know they can't see you but I'd rather just not have any potential problems walking by here when I take that clicker out probably could have grabbed that guy there if I was quick enough At this point, we probably just wait for this dude to come back around again. Just in case. All right, now that's how you get rid of those dudes. Obviously, you can see what's standing there. We got a bloater. Let's go back here and see what we missed real quick. Now, the thing is about this bloater up ahead here is that, well, at least in the remake version or the remastered version for PS4, you, you don't have to engage it. That's the point. <clears throat> you can actually go to the doors all the way at the end of the hall, interact with them, and then just mash triangle to, uh, to get through the door. And, you know, as long as you uh, don't faint in the middle of doing it, you, you get through the door before he reaches you, and, and that's fine. So, so really, this is actually... 
I, I guess. I mean, I don't, I don't know about the other parts because I never tried, but I'm pretty sure it's the only bloater in the game that you can actually avoid. I, I You can't avoid the first one. You can't avoid the... Well, actually, you can't avoid the second one. I take that back. I mean, he's going to be after you, but, you know, technically, you, you don't have to kill it. You can just run up to that access door. Um, Let's see what we're working with here. I mean, this is kind of like... This is kind of like a... A trump card here, really. <laughs> Having all that fuel. Um, and I actually can make another nail bomb. Yeah. Oh, hold up. Oh, man, I don't... We do have a shiv door. Up the way a teeny tiny bit. I mean, how... Here's the thing. I have, only, I have two charges out of three. Um... Let's, let's use it if we need it. Let's use it if we need it. I feel like I would be doing this channel and this playthrough a disservice if I opted to skip fighting this bloater. I feel like it needs to be done. I have to do it, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I have to fight it. Let's go. It's not even a discussion. Question is, is how do we want to do it? You know what, screw it. We're making this nail bomb. I care about a shiv door. Well, actually, I do need... I think that shiv door has a tool upgrade in it. All right, let's just hope that... Hold on. I just need a couple blades. We can do that. I think we can finagle a couple blades, right? All right, I'm not going to pull any punches here. All right, when I go, when I go to fight, I'm there to win. So we're going to whip this molly. Let's see what happens here. Damn, he's still alive. Oh, shit. Now oh, he's throwing stuff at me. That was it. All right. Not bad. Molotov and the two nail bombs did most of the work. He drops a firefly pendant. So, oh, there he goes. Kind of drop four revolver rounds as well. So if you're looking to get all the collectibles, that is going to force your hand to engage this bloater in a fight to, to get the firefly pendant. We don't need that. We got the platinum. And we move. It like still gives you like that dialogue of you know again if you if you slip past the bloater that's when he he notices you and you're trying to slip out the door and he starts running towards you but you you make it just in time so Credit that final uh, bloater kill shot there to the weapon sway upgrade. Probably would have missed if uh, if I didn't upgrade that.
want to make sure I get a couple more blades here before we get to the uh, the next shiv door. Again, there is a weapon, like a tool upgrade there, so I want to grab that. Oh, are you okay? What happened in there? More infected. I'm fine. Here, come up on the gate. Try the gate. You did it. Yeah, get all through. Gooch. Those clickers. You think they were fireflies? No. No, I don't think so. Why would they have infected so close to the lab? Well, Bill used them as a form of defense. Maybe they're doing the same. Yeah, I could see that. Let's go. All right, this is actually where I'm going to end this video. We're going to pick up on the next one right here. We're going to get through the rest of the university. So, if you enjoyed this video, please like. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And as always, I appreciate your time. Thanks, guys.